All right, if you got a W-2 for IHSS, in-home support services, and you lived with the person you are caring for, these should not be taxable. Number one, you should probably try and get this thing corrected with the state that is issuing this W-2, have that W-2 be fixed to zero. Now, if that's not going to happen, then the way to get it excluded on your tax return through TurboTax is this way. All right, so you're going to click on this wage and income little tab here on the side. You're going to scroll all the way down. If you don't see this, there should be like a little button that says like see more options down here. You're going to click on that, and then you are going to scroll all the way down to where it says less common income. Click on that guy all the way at the bottom, miscellaneous income, 1099A, and click on that here. Now, I'm hitting revisit because I've already done this, but you can just click start there. And so here it is. We're going to work on any miscellaneous income. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and click on that other reportable income. Click start, or mine says revisit. And this is where we're going to do it, okay? We would add another income here, okay? And this is where we'd get our W-2 out. W-2 is going to look something like this, okay? And we're going to enter that box one information right here. So we're going to put the amount is... Okay, and then the description, we're going to write it as W-2, and we're going to write EIN, and then the EIN number there. So it should be a six-digit, or eight-digit, sorry, EIN number, and that's that. Hit continue, and there it is. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to type in this verbiage here, IRS Notice 2014-7, Excludable Income. This notice was established in 2014 that essentially says for IHSS, this Medicaid uh, payments, for in-home services that these are excludable from income for tax purposes. So that's exactly what we'll do. We'll just hit an add another. We'll put that in there. And then just as a negative number, you type in the amount on box one on the W-2. There you go. So it goes in and then comes right back out. And again, here is for reference what the W-2 roughly looks like. For reference, here's the IRS page that kind of explains as such how this stuff works. Now, I do want to reiterate, if you did not live with the person you are caring for, these are taxable. If the video was helpful, please hit that like button, share it with someone that you think this would be helpful for as well, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Also, be sure to check out the link in the description below for our TurboTax link. Uh, we are affiliated. We get a little bit of the amount that you pay for TurboTax for us. helps support our channel. Thank you so much, guys.